<laughs> that is quite an interesting and funny story. I was in the Philippines in 2006, uh, training there with uh, intensive training with Ernesto Presas, the late uh, grandmaster. Well, uh, and in one day he, we stopped training. I was seated in his couch. He was here in my left, and he asked me, "Hey Pedro, you have a martial art in Portugal, don't you?" And I was not thinking, I was thinking about other things. And I said, oh, what? Oh, no, I don't think so. He said, yeah, yeah, you have the, uh, something with the staff. Oh, yeah, 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 we have Joe the Pop, but, uh, but I think that is dead. I think, you know, but I think it's not. Um, and I heard some stories because my third grandfather, or fourth, was Portuguese origin. And there is some story I heard in the family. Really? Yes, yes, check that out. Well, when I came in 2006 to Portugal, I checked in the internet. And um, what, I, what, I, what I saw was a seminar being held in Porto. And I, I arrived in September, that was in October, with Luís Preto about Jogo do Pau, not, not Jogo do Pau as a staff, but the Lisbon version from uh, Mestre Nuno Russo that uh, uses a staff and uses also stick. They also have stick fighting. So the seminar was about that. So I went. I went with some friends. We went there to check Luis. Later we became more close friends. <clears throat> and that was my first, let's say, uh, contact with something that came from Jogo do Pau, okay? Later, the stories I heard about Jogo do Pau was, was, were always about Jogo do Pau, because I'm, I live in the north, Jogo do Pau is in the south, it's in Lisbon, and the Master Nuno Russo is the one that organized all, all the material of Jogo do Pau, he trained with old masters back in the 70s, in the 80s, etc. And he trained also in Lisbon. So he, he, he came out with a system that, that uh, uh, incorporates all the good things about different Jogo do Pau schools. That was the thesis I heard. So in my head, Jogo do Pau was pretty dead in the north. In 2015, that was funny, 2015, um, we were, I had uh, a friend here and uh, he was in the airport about to leave to Sweden and he asked me, ah, by the way, do, do you know something about Jogo do Pau here in the north? I said, I don't know, I heard it's dead or they don't do it anymore, maybe some old people, I don't know. Yeah, but you are not sure, are you? No, I'm not sure. Well, why don't you check it out? Well, I don't know. Let's see. But th that question stayed in my head. And next week, the next week, I, I went to internet again, checking for Jogo do Pau schools. What I could find were videos that were already from three, four years ago, and some, some websites not updated, or news not updated. I said, mm, maybe it doesn't exist. But I had references in this place, in this place. So I said, wow, 
let me check this. I pick, I picked up uh, um, my camera, and I went to these places.